Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3181, where we have 25 moves to clear out 47 frosting. That makes this a super hard level, I can tell by the royal blue and the skull. So I guess it would be a lot easier if I had 47 moves to clear out 25 frosting. Let's see what we can do with this, although being a super hard level, it's not likely we'll get it right away. And I can see that the problem is we're so constricted here. We've got frosting on the board, but it's in lots of different places. And then some of it is licorice locked, and then some of it is in this labyrinth of chocolate and these licorice twirls. So the frosting should be the only thing that can grow at me. I don't see any dispensers or spawners. If I can get rid of the chocolate, then that's one barrier I don't have to deal with. And if I can take out frosting while I do that, even better. But then look at this. On this board, now I only have one move that I see I can make. That takes away any bit of strategy I might try to employ. If I don't have any choices, there's no strategy I can use. I can't get to that chocolate I so want to rid the board of. But let's do this. So I am going to go for taking out the chocolate as opposed to hitting the frosting, unless, I don't know why I didn't take that stripe. It wasn't aimed well, but I might have been able to slide it over. I was going to say, unless I can make a special in doing so. I see how this board goes, and I see that this is one of those where I'm going to need a bit of luck, and I'm going to need a bit of strategy. I'm going to have to really think about each move. And if I can combine those two things, I will win. And the more often I play, the better I'll get, because I'll have a, an instinctive understanding of the board. I'll have experience with it. And I'll get closer and closer. Well, maybe not closer and closer. Luck does play a factor, so there will be those times where, you know, I'll mostly get closer and closer, and then I'll have a setback. That's, that's the kind of board this appears to be anyway. Hopefully I'll get luck fairly early on and I won't have to go back and forth here. But I don't think it's going to be in this one. Although look at that, it's not impossible to get a color bomb on this board. All right, so look at this. And one color bomb begets another color bomb. If I can get this open, I can get it down pretty far. So six frosting left and they were on the outskirts. So we know that the outskirts now are where we need to focus, right? Let me go get some more lives and I'll meet you back here and we'll try this again. All right, let's see. Get out of my way and see what I'm dealing with. Um, only one move, but at least it's low to the ground. That encourages cascading. <laughs> of course, it didn't help, so I'm going to get another reshuffle here. Wow, this is so tied up. And it's getting more and more tied up because that chocolate continues to grow. Not much I can do, but now we've opened it up a bit. And because I took out chocolate, no new chocolate is forming. So I'm getting through here. I've got to get command of the chocolate. So many other things I want to be doing, but I've got to get command of the chocolate. Should I go this way or this way? This way helps to take out a chocolate. Uh, and I've seen that if I can just take out one color, things start to collapse. It's just that I'd rather take out orange over purple or... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I don't have a lot of red on the board, but what I do have has now become these ranged weapons that can shoot across the sky here. Ah. <sighs> Anytime I see the opportunity to make a stripe, I wonder, could I get a purple here and change it into a wrapped? Or anytime I see a pattern like this, I think, can I change it and make a special? Did I say a wrapped? I'm in a color bomb. If I drop this, it would go one, two, three. So that doesn't work. Oh, and then this would shift down as well. But I like this wrapped idea here. So I'm not converting any of these, but the chocolate can't grow because it has to grow adjacent. And there's no candy here, so it has no place it can land. I've got these cleared out, but I'm not making much progress here. So I think I'm wasting some turns. I'm too busy talking about the evolution of this board, and that's a bad choice. 
Okay, let's do this. This is good. It hits both of these. Four left, five moves. I can take out a color, which will concentrate things down. If I take out green, it'll take a layer here and a layer here. If I take out orange, it would take a layer here. If I take out purple, it would take out a layer here and a layer here. And, per and the sides are what I have trouble with most, and then this is going to explode. So this is what I do, and I ignore the chocolate at this point. I've got a few different turns. I'm going to do this. That didn't take out a layer. That's upsetting. And I do this. And I bring the red together. I've got enough turns to be slow and measured. Could I have done it in fewer turns if I had made better choices at the end? Possibly, but sometimes it's better to go slow and steady. I had enough turns to get that done. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thanks for watching.